Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video, and in this video, we're going to be looking at a problem that the LCD screens have that your inverter might not have. But before we get into that, of course, as usual, GenetrySolar.com, that's where you will find power jet converters, spare parts, replacement parts, upgrades, etc., etc. You can also get a hold of me at 833 Genetry, or you can even send me a message on the website if you want to. Texting is the best for 833-GENETRY, toll-free. You can give me a call. Do keep in mind that my phone rings off the hook. And uh, so, you know, I do the best that I can to answer everybody. But uh, you'll notice something here, and this is something that comes up every so often, and it seems to be a problem with the version 10 inverters. If you have a version 10, even a version 9, I've seen it happen once, but if you'll notice, I know this is upside down, but I've got my clamps on this side of the inverter. It says 103 volts, yet on the output, we're actually getting 121 volts on the output. The harness that goes into this LCD screen, for some reason, if it's not seated perfectly right, it's loose, and I don't know why. For some reason, this will come up and it'll read low voltage. Now, the wattage seems to work. Um, but uh, as far as the volts, you'll look at it and say, well, wait a minute, that's not even 110 volts. What's going on here? It actually is. It's 121 volts. The inverter is actually just fine. Everything has to do with that little itty-bitty harness that's on the underside. For some reason, like I said, you wiggle it around, it's fine. I've tried things like hot glue, and I still have customers report problems. They're just they're extremely finicky. I don't know if it's a solder issue with the board itself I'm not really sure but I could literally put my finger on the harness and move it around a little bit and this number will fluctuate everywhere so it's definitely something with the connection that does not mean you have a bad inverter that does not mean you have a bad LCD screen it just means that something really weird is going on with that harness if it bothers you of course you can always get service for your inverter but if you check your inverter with a multimeter you should still be getting 120 volts there has never been a situation that I have ever come across in any inverter that I have built that um, or repaired that has actually had that low a voltage anything below 100 volts I've never seen that it's either no voltage at all or it's your standard 100 plus voltage which the newer inverters of course you can adjust the voltage from 100 volts all the way up to about 128 volts or so uh, but I've never had a situation where it's dipped by 10 or 15 volts um, so likely if you see something like this you see a number like this you see 80 or 100 90 something else like that it's likely your inverter is fine it's just that LCD screen that harness that plugs into it I, like I said, I've tried every which way to uh, repair it. PowerJack is just going to have to redesign it um, to to not have this problem. Haven't really nailed it down exactly. So again, if it really really bothers you that much, then you can of course bring it in for service. But again, even after all the work that I've done, replacing LCD screens, replacing harnesses, plugs, wires, all that other stuff, there seems to be something going on with that harness point I don't know what it is but there it is so yes it's unfortunate that that one readout there might actually say less than the actual voltage but just hook it up to a multimeter nine times out of ten you'll be just fine it'll either read extremely low voltage like five or six volts or it'll read normal voltage but if it's in this range here it's likely that you've got um, no problems with the inverter itself Hopefully that answers your questions. Again, 833-GENETRY, toll-free, or GenetrySolar.com. Keep in mind, I do have some 10,000-watt uh, 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 inverters that are ready to go. They are in the large chassis, and uh, those are custom build. And, of course, as always, thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations as far as sending me parts and inverters that you don't need anymore. It's awesome. I appreciate everything. So, take care.